after you make this, you definitely won't want to buy any other ketchup in the stores, trust me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure I have all my ingredients and I'm gonna start with two cloves of garlic, which I'm just gonna dump inside of the blender right here. So I'm gonna start with just taking my garlic and just cutting off the tops, the little heads, and then just putting that in here. Next, I have about half a cup of dates, and the dates are going to be my main sweetener in ketchup. And if you ever, you know, taste ketchup and you ask yourself, what are the flavors I'm tasting? It's always really sweet, and because ketchup has so much sugar in it. But I like using dates because they're actually really good brain-boosting foods. They have lots of fiber in it, they're low glycemic, and they're honestly one of my favorite, favorite um, I to sweeten anything in. So I'm just gonna put these in there. I've squeezed half of a lemon, so that's about a tablespoon of lemon juice that I'm just gonna put in here. And that'll give it that nice acidic flavor. And then I'm gonna work on some spices. So I have some paprika, I have cayenne pepper, and I have cinnamon, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of each. So I have one teaspoon of paprika, eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, about an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. I have one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. About half a can of this tomato paste here, and this is six ounces, so I wanna say about three ounces of tomato paste. And tomato paste is really good, but it's very concentrated, so just use about half of a can of this. I like to eyeball this, about two good tablespoons of olive oil, a pinch of good quality salt. And last thing is about three quarters to a cup of water, but I'm going to put in only half to start and then whip this all up from there. So after you blend it all together for about 30 seconds, it's time to have a little taste. Oh my God, that is so good. So again, this is my favorite way to make ketchup. It only takes a few ingredients, and this lasts in the refrigerator for about a week. So I'm gonna put this in a Tupperware, put it in the fridge, and let's get started on the chickpea omelet.